Isabel Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. So I did a little poll on Instagram yesterday and I asked, are you believing God for restoration in some area of your life? 99% said yes. So let me ask you today, do you need God to restore something in your life? Now, before you answer, when I say restoration, it could be your energy. You want your energy restored. It could be your metabolism, your eyesight, your passion for life. It could mean joy, finances that have been stolen from you. It could be your marriage needs restored, a relationship, a job, health, discipline. Do you need restoration in some area of your life? If so, you need to hear what God showed me. I want to share with you some keys to total restoration that God gave me and tell you how this message on restoration came about. So personally, I went through a lot, physically that is. Not too long ago, I was diagnosed with skin cancer again. I've already been through all that. I mean, I've had surgery down the side of my face, my back, my entire chest was covered in skin cancer. I had to have chemo cream to remove it. It was horrible. Well, not too long ago, I had it again. I had to have 17 spots removed, 17. My arms have little polka dots on them. <laughs> Good thing I love polka dots. But I had surgery on my leg. I had to put chemo cream on my chest again. And I do my best to stay out of the sun. Well, then I went to the doctor for just a normal checkup. The doctor walked in the room and he said, how much alcohol have you been drinking? I was like, what? Are you joking me? He said, I'm not joking at all. How much alcohol do you drink? I said, doctor, I've never drank alcohol. I said, even in college when people are like, come on, Savelle, take a drink. I said, I'm not tempted. <laughs> but he said, your liver looks like someone who drinks excessive amounts of alcohol. What? My liver? Then my voice. My vocal cords got damaged. I could barely speak. See, I normally sound like Joyce Meyer. No, I'm kidding, but <laughs> I already sound like I'm seven. Well, I started sounding like a seven-year-old smoker or something. So I drove three hours to Austin, Texas to meet with a specialist. We don't even know, does it mean therapy, surgery? We don't even know, but he said, your vocal cords are damaged. That's not all. Then I couldn't read, like what I used to read, my eyesight changed. And to top it all off, I started going through menopause. I mean, that stuff is no joke. So I literally had no energy, felt like I had no vision for life or something. I gained weight, I kept doing the exact same diet and exercise every day, as normal, and things were not working. I just wanted to sleep. I kept thinking, what is wrong with me? What is happening? Skin cancer, liver, eyesight, menopause, weight gain. I promise this broadcast will be motivating. But one day, the Lord just put this on my heart, one simple life-changing reminder. He just said, I am the God of restoration. I am the God of restoration. First, let me tell you why you've been through what you've been through. I want you to remember that the devil is a thief. He doesn't show up on Friday the 13th in a red costume and a pitchfork. No, John 10.10 10 tells us the thief comes only to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And you know, I think about it like this. When a thief breaks into a house, he doesn't go straight for the tissue box and the paper cups and the chips. No, he doesn't care about junk. He goes straight for the valuables. He goes for the cash, the jewelry, the TVs, right? Why do you think he's attacked your life so hard? Because you're valuable. Your assignment is valuable. Your dreams are valuable. God needs you and he's trying to stop you. So I'm going to share with you how to get back everything that's been stolen from you. So God said, I am the God of restoration. In fact, I knew I'd heard from God to share this, but all of a sudden I heard my dad say that the Lord spoke to him and he said, this year, will be a year of restoration. Well, no matter what time of the year it is, God is saying it's time to restore. And when God restores, he doesn't bring things back to their original condition. No, when God restores, he makes it better, improves, increases, and multiplies what was stolen. Well, then I heard another minister say God spoke to him that it's time for restoration. I thought, okay, I do hear from God. And that's what I want you to get ingrained, that God wants to restore 
everything in your life, everything, relationships, jobs, money, energy, your metabolism, your health, your confidence, your creativity, your marriage, everything. So I went to the number one success book ever written and look what I found. Now these are just a few things that God restores. I put them in this new book on restoration, but listen to this. God says he will restore your soul. Psalm 23, 3, David said, the Lord restores my soul. What is your soul? It's your mind, your will, and your emotions. If you feel unstable, confused, emotional, God will restore your mind, your will, and your emotions. Your health. God said, I will restore health unto you and heal you of your wounds. Jeremiah 30, 17. Maybe you're in pain, constantly sick, no energy. God wants to restore your body. He said he'll even renew your youth like the eagles. That includes your energy, your metabolism, your skin, your vibrancy, that sickness or disease. He will heal you and restore your body. Another one, he said your joy. God restores your joy. Psalm 51, 12. It says, restore to me the joy of your salvation. Have you had some sleepless nights and a lot of tears? Satan wants you miserable, stressed out, depressed, but God says, get ready, joy comes in the morning. Your finances. Proverbs 6.31 says, if the thief is found, he has to restore sevenfold what was stolen from you. Think about that. And then Deuteronomy 30, verse 3 says, then the Lord your God will restore your fortunes and have mercy on you. God will even, I love this one, Joel 2.25, he'll restore the years that Satan stole. Think about this. Do you feel like you've had years of your life stolen from you? God will give them all back. I could keep going. It's throughout the Bible. But Acts 3.21 talks about how God restores everything. That pretty much sums up whatever you need right now. So I want to walk you through what God shared with me to see everything restored. Some action steps on our part. I don't have time to go through each little step, but it's all in the new book that we're offering this week for your gift of any amount. But let me share a few today because these were pivotal in my personal restoration. So number one is read God's word. You know, the Lord reminded me as I was going through the skin cancer, the liver, the menopause, all that. He said, my word is medicine to your flesh. So I set a goal to read these restoration scriptures every morning, just like taking vitamins or pills, <laughs> which I happen to have. You know, Matthew 6, says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and then all these things will be added unto you. See, when you seek God by reading his word, you hear from God. You get direction. You envision your future. This is where you receive clarity and wisdom for your life. I know, it's a big pill to swallow, but <laughs> in fact, I want to tell you this true story real quick about a lady named Madeline Belletta. This is back in 1984. She's praying for a solution to her fatigue and just intense back pain. She needed her body restored. Well, being a Christian and knowing that God speaks to his children in a still small voice, one day she was seeking God for restoration in her body. And as she was reading God's word in prayer, she just heard these unusual words, fresh royal jelly. Now I would have been like, did you mean peanut butter and jelly? <laughs> but she didn't understand it either. So she did a little research and in her discovery, she found out that royal jelly was the actual food substance that worker bees fed to the queen in their hives. It's this pure, natural, highly nourishing liquid that was beginning distribution in England as a supplement. Well, Madeline began using it and seeing drastic improvement with her energy and just her overall well-being. So she began to ask the Lord if royal jelly was meant to do more than just help her start a company. That's what she heard in prayer as she's just seeking God. So she obeyed. Today, her company called Be Alive, it went from words on the pages of a journal to an experiment in her garage to a multi-million dollar company. Think about it. Because Madeline took the time to get away from all the distractions, to quietly sit and seek God, not only was her body restored, but seeking God changed the whole trajectory of her life financially. Think about that. I want to remind you that reading personal growth books is good. Attending conferences that build your faith is extremely helpful. 
but nothing replaces you seeking God and spending time in his word. God's the one who said he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. So I want to encourage you specifically read these scriptures on restoration and let it get down on the inside of you until you are absolutely convinced and full of expectancy that God will restore everything that's been stolen from you. So I want to share two more keys when we come back on how to have total restoration in your life. Do you need restoration in an area of your life? The good news is God is a God of restoration. He wants to restore everything the enemy has tried to take from you. Your relationships, career, finances, health, confidence, your marriage, everything. In Terry's newest book, Total Restoration, you'll discover the seven action steps to receive your restoration. Enjoy the abundant life God has for you and make Satan pay back everything he's stolen from you. That's the victory you'll experience when you put these seven steps to work for you. Request your copy of Total Restoration today for your gift of any amount. This mini book will help you tap into God's unlimited resources to see the turnarounds and breakthroughs you desire. Take action now and head over to terry.com or call the number on your screen to request your copy of Total Restoration today for your ministry gift of any amount. Don't delay. Get ready for the supernatural restoration that is coming your way. Well, I'm so excited about this brand new book, Total Restoration. This is my first time to offer it, and it's my gift to you for your donation of any amount. You know, this whole message came about from my own experiences and things the Lord led me through to receive not partial, but total restoration. So I have seven powerful keys to recover everything you lost. And I put them in this simple, easy to read format so you can just read it quickly and put them to work. And I want you to enjoy the life God has for you and make the devil pay back everything he has stolen from you. And you can do that when you put these steps into place. Imagine receiving seven times what he stole from you financially. I mean, do the math. I had it happen. How? I did exactly what God said to do to make the devil pay. Imagine your health, your energy, your vitality completely restored because you chose to do what God said to do to experience divine health and wholeness, right? God shows us how that can happen. So I'm excited for you and I can't wait to hear your testimony of total restoration. Again, this is my gift to you for your donation of any amount. So all you need to do to get your copy sent today Call the number on the screen or go to terry.com and we will ship it right to you. Okay, back to another key the Lord showed me to experience total restoration. Number two is to envision restoration. In other words, get an image of what restoration looks like to you. You know, one of the greatest keys to success is clarity. When you start asking God to restore some area of your life, what does that mean to you? Like get crystal clear on what restoration looks like to you. Get a vision for it. You know, I think about my dad with classic cars. My dad used to own a business called Jerry's Paint and Body Shop. And when someone would bring an old car that had been beat up, which this is pretty cute, we beat this up. <laughs> and they would ask my dad to restore the car. Restore it to what? Well, the image of the car in perfect condition, right? So they had to have an image of what restoration meant. And then my dad replicated that image to a completely restored car. And when he was finished, there was no sign the car had ever been damaged before. It was restored to the image of restoration. Well, these are some cute props. What is your image of restoration? Like in your health, do you see yourself healthy again? You know, I love telling the story of Miss Dodie Osteen how when she was diagnosed with terminal cancer and given like three weeks to live, she said when she looked in the mirror, she saw death. She saw a weak, frail, deteriorating body. And she said she knew she had to change what she saw if she was going to get victory over cancer. So what did she do? She got an image of her body restored. In fact, she covered her bathroom mirror, her refrigerator, her frames in the family room with photos of her healthy and full of life. What was she doing? She was surrounding herself with a vision for restoration. And God performed a miracle and healed her of terminal cancer. She's still going strong 40 years later. 
Now, there's so much I could say about helping you get clear on this point of getting a vision of restoration. What does restoration mean to you? Like, what does it truly look like? Do you have an image, a photo clearly written down and before your eyes of what you want in your life? Let's say you wanna get fit and healthy. Get a vision of you in the best shape of your life and look at those images of restoration. This is mine. <laughs> it's not that funny. No, but this is my vision of being fit and healthy, the best shape. What about in finances? You know, do you see $5,000 in your checking account or $50,000 in your savings account? Then print an image of your bank statement and write across what restoration financially looks like to you. You got to see it on the inside before it shows up on the outside. And you've heard me say your mind is like a magnet. You know, the, the psychology world calls it the law of attraction, that whatever gets in your mind and stays there, you will attract it in your life, right? Well, God calls it Proverbs 23, 7. As a man thinks in his heart, so does he become. People say what you think about, you bring about. Remember this, your mind moves toward the images that you keep before your eyes. Well, if all you keep in front of you is an image of the old beat up version of you, then that's what you can expect. So if you're believing God for restoration in your marriage, you know, what does that look like? Get an image of it. You know, maybe it's a picture of you two on the beach, holding hands, walking down the beach, happy together. Get that image before your eyes. If you're believing for God to restore your home, maybe you had a nice place to live, things happened and you want your house back. Get an image of you living in the house of your dreams. Put that image before your eyes and start declaring, thank you, Jesus, for restoring my home. Remember this, if you can't see your vision, you're not moving towards it. You know, Miles Monroe said, you can tell when a vision is from God if it makes you look like a fool to other people. He said, if people believe you the first time you tell them, it's probably not from God. You say, I'm believing for God to restore my marriage. People laugh and say, it's too far gone. Or I'm believing for God to restore my job to a better paying job. And people snicker and say, with your skills, with your history? Or I'm believing for God to restore my children. And people joke and say, even that's too big for God. Nothing is too big for the God we serve, right? So remember this. If what you see on your vision board is not what you see in your circumstances, it's temporary. What you see in your spirit is where you're headed. You know, you think about Joseph, how he was thrown into a pit, but he had a totally different vision. And I'm sure he sat there thinking, this is not what I saw. Miles Monroe said, if what you see is not what you saw, it's temporary. You know, I love this quote from Corey Tin Boone. She was having lunch with Miles Monroe and Oral Roberts back in 1976. And Miles asked her, he said, what is the secret to your stamina at 82 years old? Listen to what she said. She said, son, remember to always live according to your vision, never according to your eyes. I love that. So stay focused on your vision of total restoration. You know, I heard about a family who was believing for their son to serve God. He was on drugs, involved in gangs, living a completely different life than the one they were declaring. So they got a Bible and engraved his name on the front. They put that Bible on the coffee table as their vision that God would restore their son to Jesus and to them. Today, that young guy is not only serving God, but he's in full-time ministry. So if what you see is not what you saw, it's temporary. Get a clear vision. You know, I want to tell you a story about something my husband and I went through. Because, well, let me, let me give you the third point, because I want to make sure I have time for this. The third key the Lord reminded me of is say, restore. Now, you know by now that if you want to know where your life is headed, listen to the words that are coming out of your mouth. Your mouth is the most powerful weapon God has given you to change the whole direction of your life. Your mouth can be used to bless your life or curse your life, right? So I wanted to tell you this story of something my husband and I went through. We went through such a hard time in our marriage. This was about 21 years ago. I mean a really hard time. We were fighting so bad, just miserable together, on the verge of divorce. But we'd already booked our family vacation to Hawaii, so we still went. We'd save money all year long to go on that trip, stay at our favorite hotel, hoping it would help. 
it didn't help. It was the worst trip ever. We literally fought the whole trip. It's pretty bad when you fight in Hawaii, right? Well, we ended up separating like right when we got home. Well, as I began seeking God at the loneliest time in my life, the more I began to hear his voice and discover his plan, I knew deep down God wanted me to believe for restoration. I didn't even want restoration. I wanted a divorce, but I wanted God's will over mine. So I even began declaring, Lord, conform my will to your will. Well, I found a photo of us in Hawaii. This is the very photo right here. And I even covered his face because I didn't even want to look at him. It was that bad. But the more I prayed, the softer my heart got. And then I began to move my hand and start declaring, restore, restore, restore my marriage in Jesus' name. And one day, I even added this to my declaration. Lord, restore our vacation. I felt like it was stolen from us. Well, I'm telling you, God responds to faith being released from your mouth. Not only did God restore our marriage, thank you, Jesus, but I don't think it's coincidental one bit that four years later, I got a letter in the mail from the Hilton Hawaiian Village where we stayed that summer that we fought so bad. The letter literally said, to all of our guests staying in our hotel in the summer of 2002, we found mold in the building you were in. It's been repaired, but we are offering one full week at our resort paid in full. Simply fill out the dates. Do you think that's a coincidence? It wasn't just any vacation. It was the very trip that I declared, Lord, restore my vacation four years later. So I'm telling you, we flew to Hawaii, stayed there for free. That was over 20 years ago. And we just celebrated 32 years of marriage. God restores everything. So I am excited about the offer we have this week because I want you to have this little book. I just wrote this with seven action steps the Lord led me through to receive total restoration. It impacted me so much. I thought I've got to get this in writing and I didn't want it to be a long drawn out book. I just wanted to get to the point. So this just arrived and I want to send you this book with your gift of any amount. So here's what I want to recommend. Sow a seed for restoration in your life. Like name your seed restoration. And I'm telling you from experience, you will reap a harvest of restoration. God is telling you today, he restores everything. So I want you to have this vital message quickly so you can apply these steps as soon as possible. You just call the number on the screen. It's easy to order it. You can call the number or go to terry.com and we will deliver it directly to you. So I want to say thank you for joining with me today. And I believe you are next, that God is going to restore everything the devil stole from you. So start even today declaring restore, restore, restore. Hurry and take advantage of this offer. Your donation of any amount, we are going to send this right to you. Again, just call the number on the screen or go to terry.com. And I want to say thank you for being with me today. You know, up here, we pray for our partners. We pray for our viewers. And we're believing in Jesus' name that you are going to experience, not partial, total restoration in Jesus' name. I'm cheering you on to live your dreams. Do you need restoration in an area of your life? The good news is, God is a God of restoration. He wants to restore everything the enemy has tried to take from you. Your relationships, career, finances, health, confidence, your marriage, everything. In Terry's newest book, Total Restoration, you'll discover the seven action steps to receive your restoration. Enjoy the abundant life God has for you and make Satan pay back everything he's stolen from you. That's the victory you'll experience when you put these seven steps to work for you. Request your copy of Total Restoration today for your gift of any amount. This mini book will help you tap into God's unlimited resources to see the turnarounds and breakthroughs you desire. Take action now and head over to terry.com or call the number on your screen to request your copy of Total Restoration today for your ministry gift of any amount. Don't delay. Get ready for the supernatural restoration that is coming your way. Hey, I just wanted to give you a quick update about what's been going on around here and show you something so amazing. And I want to say a special thank you to all of our partners. I am so grateful for you and I want you to know that you are making such a difference. 
You know, we took the biggest leap of faith when we left where we were renting offices for almost eight years and we purchased our beautiful ministry headquarters right on the lake outside of Dallas, Texas. Well, recently we were able to have a dream come true at our offices. We got to invite young women from safe homes and rescue centers to our headquarters for a vision board day. Yes, now many of these precious girls have just been rescued from sex trafficking. I mean, their eyes are still black, their teeth are knocked out, they have burns on their arms from just being abused. I wish I could show you their precious faces, but we have to hide them for their protection. But we got to bring them to a safe, faith-filled environment and just shower them with love and teach them how valuable they are to God and then have a vision board workshop with them. See, a person with no vision will always return to their past. So I want to get their eyes so focused on where God is taking them. Oh my goodness, this was seriously a dream of mine. And we had supplies for each one to make their vision board. And I just love walking around, seeing them light up with hope. Some of them put on their boards, getting their teeth fixed, getting their diploma, getting their children back or getting married. Several even said, can I get a business card of this ministry? I want to work here one day. Oh my goodness, it was such a special day of ministry, cooking out, games by the lake, and even a clothing station for them to pick whatever they wanted. And they were so grateful. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, partners. You are making such a difference through your generous giving. And I need more people like you to join with me. So if this ministry has blessed your life, will you become a partner today? No amount is too small or too great. You know, we can do so much more when we come together and we want to do more to help women in safe houses. We want to reach more people through our media outreaches and conferences. And we want to continue blessing and ministering to you. So if God is leading you to make an impact in these precious women, would you become my partner today? Just go to terry.com slash partner or call the number on the screen. And I want to say thank you so much for being my partner. Get ready for transformation. Make plans now to attend the 2024 Next Conference with your host, Terry Savelle Foy, success coach to hundreds of thousands of people worldwide. With special guests, Bob Boudin, author of The Power of Who, and Phil Cook, renowned marketing and media expert. Something special happens when you take action to invest in yourself in an atmosphere of faith and expectation. And this is your opportunity to gain the knowledge, relationships, resources, and clarity to make those big goals a reality. Don't delay. Get your tickets now to the premier Christian Success Conference. It's two life-changing days of inspirational, practical, and biblical success teachings designed to take your life, ministry, or business to the next level. And it's all happening November 15th and 16th in Dallas, Texas. So head over to terry.com to get your tickets today.